Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Boy, we're just breaking records left and right, and we've got a lot of snow yet to go. I've got snow bullseyes in California, Utah, Wyoming, parts of Montana, and Colorado yet to come. Um, the prime time for California will be this really heavy slug of moisture coming in 328. That's going to drop a quick 12 to 20 inches of snow. Um, and then there's another uh, plume that comes in 43 to 45 with a Another storm system, the Tetons, prime time, late 329 through 44, 2 to 3 feet of snow. Wasatch, 2 to 3 feet of snow coming in late 329, and then through 45. There's a pretty rich flow. There'll be some breaks, obviously, and some lulls, but it's looking like a really good uh, pattern for a number of locations. Let me show you what the current setup is. So this is water vapor satellite. Oranges and reds represent the drier air aloft. Here comes our next storm. That's the one that's going to hit the, uh, the Sierra with that slug of moisture um, tomorrow. I'll go over snow levels for the, uh, the Sierra here in a minute. Um, another low behind it, another low behind that. Everything's just sort of lined up right along this powerful jet, and that'll come in and help to really deliver that moisture into the Sierra. And then we're just going to set up this conveyor belt, and that's why we're going to see that heavy moisture over a lot of the interior parts of the country, uh, the West. I did write about it this morning on my blog. A lot of really interesting information in here, chrystomer.com. Um, I really went uh, beyond the forecast. Talk, talked about Colorado pushing 700 inches. That's my estimate in a few different locations. Now, I want to say off, uh, off the top of this, um, again, these are it's a rough conversion based on snow water equivalency at, at some of the snowiest, the three, three snowiest points in our in our state typically. On average, that's Buffalo Pass, Wolf Creek, and then out into the West Elks. And based on what I'm seeing with snow water equivalency, uh, I mean, look at look at Buffalo Pass and Tower, 49 and a half inches of snow water equivalent. I mean, that that's bigger than um, that's almost bigger than what we saw back in 2019. At the I mean. And 2019 was, was the year when, I mean, we just got nailed with so much moisture. We had avalanches all over the place. Um, we set a number of records that year. I mean, we're already there. When you do the estimate, we're at 700 inches up there on Buffalo Pass. 47 and a half SWE there. It's at Wolf Creek. Um, estimating 665 down there. Um, and that is more. That's more than 2019 when we had 45.8 on this date. More. Um, the same actually goes for Schofield Pass, um, which is in the West Elks, estimating 648 off of 46.3 SWE. That's more than what we had in 2019 on this date. So really interesting stuff there. Take a look at it. There's the setup. Forecast pattern jet from this morning. I want to show you what it is um, this afternoon. I'll take it full. And we're kind of back to this. There's been a lot of oscillating going on with this. We're back to this deep area of low pressure sitting over California on 4.5 with powerful jet stream support. So um, we'll see. It's still a long way out. Um, I want to go back to the blog here and go over forecast timing, and I'll take this full as well. Forecast radar and satellite. On 3.28, there comes the big storm. Hits with fury midday into the afternoon. It's a heavy slug of moisture, and then it moves into the interior. Heavy snow through uh, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and then it moves away. Here comes the next storm, and that's the one you can see in the Pacific Northwest that's going to become that, that low pressure that slides down through California with that powerful jet, 42434445. It's going to take its time. Okay, back to Kirkwood in California. This next storm cycle will push many Tahoe resorts over 700 inches, and you can see why. Big time snow coming on 328, anywhere from 12 to 20 inches, and that's not it. I mean, there's additional snow coming 4-2, 4-1, 4-3, 4-5, just big time snow. Rain snow line on 328 will start at 6,800 feet and then fall all the way to 2,800 feet by the nighttime. So starts a little high, then it falls very low. Um, here are my numbers from this morning. I'll show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. All right, so the rest of today through 329, a couple of feet will come down in Tahoe and Mammoth, more in Shasta and Timberline and uh, Bachelor get some. The second period will be big. 330 through 4.5, another one to two feet for uh, Tahoe and Mammoth. 
um, two to three feet for the Wasatch, a couple of feet for the Tetons. Big, um, Big Sky does well. Brundage and Sun Valley look good. Um, in Colorado, looking at 6 to 12 inches of snow, maybe a little bit more in a couple of different locations. So some pretty good bullseyes. In the northeast, I just don't have much um, more in northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, but we're just not looking at any single big storm systems through 4 or 5. All right, guys, there you go. That'll do it for this afternoon weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.